Copyright Disclaimer Under Section 107 of the Copyright Act, 1976, allowance is made for fair use for the purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship and research. Fair use policy is in effect. Scanning your body, my brain, they for it mode Shano, shano, can up, I know your disco I won't make you help me spend my money to last card Hands on your waist, you they make me panic Oh, shoot your bond that we pass, who can't reload I'm on the way, watch your cash, hello, hey, 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 papa You go better make you follow my lead, oh Baby, where your body says, if you cheat, go See the boy, you don't live for the beatings Tell me anything you want to receive Baby, me job, oh, check out your mouth, but uh, Girl, I go give you comfort, oh, because I got you Don't allow how people look to distract you from who they are Quick story time, I met this guy, right? So fine, he was so handsome But when I met him, I wasn't even on trying to meet him to date him I just thought he was really attractive and I could have used him in business, right? Because I am in sales Long story short I started talking to this man, right? And I just been talking to y'all about um, how I lost my brother a few days ago. I let him know, cause I was supposed to hang out with him the day that my brother passed away. I let him know, hey, um, I have to cancel. I just got news my brother passed. He said, okay. Ended up talking to him later, letting him know what happened, right? Right when I told him my brother passed away, he followed up with, if you in the area, bring me some food. So I just knew bro was joking, right? I just knew that was a typo because what kind of person are you that you would follow up me telling you that my brother passed away with bring you some food? Who do you think that I am, young lad? That wasn't enough though. We went back and forth. We had our conversation. We argued a little bit. I appreciated his communication style and his willingness to apologize. So what did I do? I still uh, linked up with him the next day. He was like, if you want to get out of the house, let me know. I know you probably got a lot on your mind. I thought he was trying to redeem himself. Let me tell you more. So again, me thinking he trying to redeem himself, I end up linking up with him. When I link up with him, I show up to the location that we were meeting at. He was 10 minutes late. When he arrives there, he also shows up and he's like, hey, do you mind if I go outside and smoke? Do you smoke? I'm like, I don't smoke. So he goes outside and smokes, spends an extra 10 minutes outside. I'm sitting at the bar ordering my food and ordering my drinks, right? He finally comes in, breath stinking like straight weed. He smelled like weed. Y'all know how weed smell when people don't put on cologne afterwards, right? He sits down, he bumping his gums. We address the conversation from the previous night. He makes his point, whatever, we cool. I'm eating, I'm sipping my wine, right? He's not ordering food. I'm like, why aren't you ordering your food? He's like, I'm just chilling, I'm enjoying the vibes, right? I'm like, okay, whatever. I get my food, my food comes out. I end up not liking the pizza. It was like one of those little flatbreads, but it had zero flavor, so I send it back. When I send my food back, he's like, oh, why you send it back? I could have ate that. All they about to do is throw it away. You know I mean, starving people there are. So I'm like, nigga, the kids out there are still gonna be starving. The people out there are still gonna be starving, even if you eat the pizza that they just threw away. That's not the point. Let's continue on. He's still sitting there with no food, no wine, no drinks, no nothing. And I'm just eating my food. I get my, I get to my points contentment where I'm eating my sweet potato fries and I stop eating them. And he's like, oh, so you just going to let your fries get cold? He like, let me have a couple. I scoot the thing over because I'm like, this nigga still ain't ordered his food. Is he poor? Is he broke? <laughs> I give him my fries. Whatever. No big deal. He's eating my fries or whatever. Then he calls some girl he called his sister. She's Latina, by the way. He's black as all out does. I know this ain't your sister, but whatever. She pull up. They share a pizza that he orders, right? They're like, oh, do you want to go to this next place or whatever? I'm like, yeah. But in my mind, I'm like, I'm never going to see this guy again. Mind you, when we were having a conversation, you know what he said? He said, I'm every woman's dream guy. And my question was, I was like, well, when you say you're every woman's dream guy, what do you mean? He's like, I'm tall, dark, and I'm handsome. I got my own spot. I got my own reliable transportation. I'm just the ideal guy for most women. I'm like, that's bare minimum. As a grown man, you're supposed to have your own spot. You're supposed to have transportation. It's nice that you're attractive, but that's bare minimum entry. What are we talking about? Who, who did you take the poll with? What women did you talk to, to to determine that? Anyways, I digress. We keep talking or whatever. We ended up um, deciding that we were going to go to a next place. He's like, waiter, can I get the check? Mind you, he invited me out, right? And we're not dating, okay? So let's not get that misconstrued. But he invited me out. He asked for the check. The check comes out. He goes, oh, they put mine on yours. The waiter's like, do you want me to split the check? He looks at me. 
He's like, you want them to split? I said, you the one tripping over the check. Let them split the check. It's all good. He like, I could cash up you. Absolutely the fuck not. You will not be cash up in me a single dime, baby. Let that man split the check, baby. I shouldn't even be reaching in my purse. Let that man split this check. I'm like, I'm already reaching in my purse as a grown ass woman who got invited out to dinner. You are looking real broke to me right now. Tell me why I get the bill and the bill was only $36. It was $36 total because when I got mine, once they split it, it was $26, right? So I'm like, this man just had this waiter split a $36 bill. That's asinine. No worries, right? Mind you, when he first came in, right? I didn't even tell y'all. When he first came in, he had on a, a motorcycle jacket. He had gloves in his back pocket. He had a ski mask that was sitting at the top of his head. I was like, are you driving a motorcycle or something? He was like, something like that. So anyways, when we leave, we pay out the bill. I already made up my mind. I'm not going anywhere else with this man. So I go outside. We walk into our cars, right? Tell me why when we walk outdoors, what is this man driving? Can you take a wild guess to what this man <laughs> We walk outside. This man driving a moped. A moped brand. I said, oh, nigga. I would have rather you pulled up here with some Heelys. A bicycle. You over there talking about meet me when you hit the horn. What are we doing here? And I'm telling you, this man said he was every woman's dream guy. Oh, my God. Now, don't get me wrong, y'all. Ain't nothing wrong with driving no moped. Your transportation is your transportation as long as you get to and from work. But it's you saying that you were every woman's dream guy. When you said, I got my own spot, mind you, it's a studio apartment. I got reliable transportation, mind you, it's a moped. I'm tall, I'm dark, and I'm handsome. Okay, you got that, you got that. But what else about that makes you every woman's dream guy? I, I'm telling you, all I don't know who gave these men the right to have this much audacity. Maybe y'all did, because I know that a lot of women will see a, a fine-ass man, and even if he ain't shit, they hype his head up. They, you know what I'm saying? Like, no way. Not over here. I'm not giving you no brownie points for being attractive. You didn't do anything to get that. But anyways, I digress, right? He jump on his moped. <laughs> he pull off. He expect me to follow him. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to go. I just decided that I'm tired. I want to go home, right? He's like, oh, wow, why? I said, I'm tired. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to go to any more places. He's like, well, if you want some more company, just let me know. I'll pull up on you and we'll continue our conversation. Ain't no nigga pulling up over my house and no more bad. Absolutely not. You probably gonna have to drive that upstairs. To <laughs> I just sit it in my living room. <laughs> no, I have never. But I, I told y'all this story to say this. Stop allowing your curiosity to take you further than you need to go. I literally knew that man wasn't shit when he asked me for food once I told him my brother passed away. But I let him talk me into seeing him again somehow. Maybe I was vulnerable. Maybe I was being silly. I just, I gave him another opportunity. I gave him the benefit of doubt. Stop giving folks the benefit of the doubt. Believe their first red flag. And trust me, you are not missing out on anything. Because I think we'd be like, oh, but he's so fine. Oh, my God. Like, what if, what if it could be something? What if, no. No, no, leave people right where they had you fucked up the first time. Emotional damage. You want some therapy?